Okay, so the first thing you want to do is upload your background image, which in this case is just a solid color for me. And then you want to select your hex color, which will be for the outline. That's mine. So then you hit done, and it'll ask to download multiple files. You allow it. And now it'll download all 47 images in about 25 seconds. You can see it's having a seizure right now, um, but come back to you when it's done. Alright, so now we go into our download folder, and you want to copy all of them um, from 46 to 0. Cut them, I use Control X, and go into the folder you want to replace the color up. So in this case, it's all going to be in this CTM directory. You go to red clay because I want to replace red clay and just paste them all in there. And it's this properties file that I already have in there that will use all of those textures to replace the um, original red clay texture and it's what tells them how they're gonna work together to create that texture. So now uh, we can do that for all of the textures. I'll do the next one for blue clay um, and I'll show you a little bit of that and then the white clay. Okay so now for the blue clay we want to do the same thing where we upload our background file and choose our hex color, which in that case, in my case, is that. So then you hit done, and uh, it should do the same thing again. Okay, so now we want to go back to our downloads folder and use all 46 images, cut them. And now since I'm replacing blue clay, I'll go into the blue clay folder. Who would have guessed? <laughs> and then for height limit, there's a separate directory. You go into the height limit folder, and there's blue, green. Green and yellow are for the four teams version of Bridge, um, and not every pack uses them. You can just go ahead and delete them if you're not going to use them. Okay, now for the white, we want to once again upload the background, select the hex color, and hit done. Okay, it's pretty intuitive. We're going to go into the folder again, select the files, Oops. go into the white clay folder, and paste all these. So then you can delete the files you don't need. So if we go here, I don't need green or yellow clay. Height limit, once again, green or yellow. And then, um, in order for the blocks to look uh, right in game, in my hotbar, um, you need to change the textures in the textures folder. So it, it's these four, there's a readme in there to help you. But um, you want this to be the number zero file in each location. So here I go to blue clay, copy the zero file, and go to textures, blocks, in here. Um, that's the blue one, so cut that name. And rename zero to that and do that for for all um, three, because you don't need, once again, lime or yellow. Now you do actually need Optifine for this, so you can do what I'm doing, which is just using Lunar Client, which has automatic Optifine installed, or you can use Forge or something to install Optifine. The URL for the download is optifine.net. Okay, so then if we head over to Minecraft, and I'm currently in Bdamja's hippo map, hippo practice map, because it has an overlay tester. Um, so yeah, you're gonna go into your resource packs folder, get your overlay, this is the default icon name, or not the name, but... Wait for that to load. Okay, so, now you can see, all the textures have been automatically made, and yeah. It's it's all done for you, including the height limit textures, as you can see, and those are connected as well. Uh, yeah, there it is.